follow up to a story we first brought you back in June. A daughter's desperate plea to the public. Kayla Pike lost her father in a hit and run crash back in May, and she's hopeful that someone out there might be able to help. 12 News reporter Kate Wall shares her story. What's up, love bug? Give me a call. I'm home. It's the call Kayla Pike wishes she could get one more time from her father. And I didn't get my phone call when he got home. Instead, on April 28th, she got a call from a family member saying 51-year-old Lloyd Pike, lovingly known as Sonny, had been in a car crash and was thrown from the vehicle. State police believe on 95 North by exit 4 in Richmond, a truck hit the vehicle Pike was a passenger in, causing it to go off the highway and roll. It was around 4 o'clock in the afternoon when other vehicles may have been driving by. They had to resuscitate him a few times that night end up being a neck injury that was causing trouble to him for to breathe normally. And with that, he would be paralyzed. So we tried everything we could. But from a distance, because of COVID, Kayla couldn't be by his side. Couldn't hold his hand. I couldn't talk to him, couldn't be with him. And he's always been there for me and I couldn't return that favor. And he just, for three weeks was staring at a ceiling by himself. Lloyd passed away on May 19th. The person responsible for hitting the vehicle he was in has never been found. All we know is it's a black truck, possibly a Tacoma, black wheels, tinted, um, white male between the age of 20 and 40. She said there have been some leads over the past five months, but not enough. Our family hasn't been the same since and Every black truck that goes by, I look to see, could that be him? Could this be the person who killed my father? Kayla is hopeful that someone watching this may just have a clue leading to the closure her family so desperately seeks right now. If you have any information, you're asked to contact Rhode Island State Police. In the control room, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.